Hello everyone. Welcome to BSU YouTube channel. In today's lesson, we will learn about sexual and asexual reproduction in plants. For a moment, think about what is reproduction. Reproduction is the production of new individuals from their parents. In plants, baby plants are produced from their parent plants. There are two types of reproduction plants reproduce by two ways sexual reproduction asexual reproduction in asexual reproduction new plants are produced without the help of seeds in sexual reproduction new plants are produced with the help of seeds sexual reproduction starts with the pollination the transfer of pollens from anther to stigma is called pollination then male cell fuses with the female cell. This process is called fertilization. After fertilization, ovary develops into fruit and ovules develop into seeds. When seeds are developed, then dispersal of seeds take place and a seed under the right conditions will develop into a young plant. In this way, the life cycle of a plant continues. Now the question is, how do plants which do not have flowers and seeds reproduce? There are other ways too by which plants reproduce and they do not involve the male and female cells. In some plants, roots, stems and leaves are used for reproduction. These parts are called vegetative parts and this type of reproduction is called vegetative reproduction. Let's discuss the reproduction by roots. In some plants, roots help in reproduction and they can develop into a new plant. Roots of Dahlia, Asparagus can develop into new plants. We already know about underground stems which store food like the potato, ginger, onion, etc. The new plant grows from the specific part of these stems, like the potato has the small bud on its eye. If we cut the potato piece from its eye and put it under the soil, it will grow into a new plant under favorable conditions. Ginger also grows in the same way. Onion is a bulb. The bulb is the underground storage organ made of stems and leaves. The bulbs are made of many layers of fleshy scales, which are actually leaves. The center of the bulb contains a bud. This bud can grow into a new plant. Some plants reproduce through leaves. The leaves have buds on their margins, which grow into a new plant when they fall from the parent plant. As we saw, many plants, especially the seedless plants, use the vegetative methods through their roots, stems and leaves naturally to produce the new plants. These are called natural methods of vegetative reproduction. We use some artificial methods of vegetative reproduction to grow new plants. Some of them are cutting, layering and grafting methods. Let's discuss the cutting method first. If we cut a part of the rose stem and place it in the moist soil, sometimes roots will grow from it and a new plant will be produced. This cutting method can also be used for sugarcane, hibiscus and bougainvillea too. In some plants like jasmine, grape, plants some branch are lowered and covered with the soil. When roots will grow, we will cut them and plant into the soil to grow into a new plant. This artificial way of reproduction is called layering method. Have you ever thought about how we get a better variety of plants? It is because of an artificial method of reproduction called grafting. In this method, the branches of different plants are joined. The shoot which is transferred is the sign and the plants with the roots to which sign is attached is called the stalk. The stalk provides the nutrients, water and minerals to the sign. 
with the passage of time new plants develop from it thank you